Let me first tell you a little story. There's a restaurant in Lausanne. Let's call it Shed Nancy. The manager Nancy recently received some customer complaints, saying that there's no service in the restaurant. So she wants to do something to improve that. She wants to create a working atmosphere that, with a great emphasis on customer service, she wants to communicate to employees on a daily basis, emphasizing on service. Customer service behavior, mentioning how important it is, and reward those employees to have good service behavior and punish those who don't have great service behaviors. Similarly, in another another restaurant, the manager John has the same complaints, and he wants to do something as well. He remembers someone famous say that if you treat your employee well, you will end up with a workforce that treats your customers well. So he decides to improve the general job satisfaction of his employees by giving them some snacks in the afternoon, treating them well, maybe improve their working conditions, just make their employees happy about coming to work. So for these two strategies, or Nancy's by emphasizing on customer service, or John's by, gen by creating um, by uh, improving employees' general job satisfaction, which one do you think is more effective? We would like to address this question with linkage research. In linkage research, we link what the employee who work in the organization say to customers who deal with the organization say, and we link the data from these two different resources. So that's why we call it linkage research. There are two relationships in linkage research that receive the most research attention. The first relationship is between service climate and customer satisfaction. Service climate corresponds to Nancy what wants to do by emphasizing customer service in the working environment. If you're not familiar with constructs, think of organizational culture, but with a focus on service. So there, these are similar constructs. The logic behind the relationship between service climate and customer satisfaction is that when employee perceive service climate in a working environment, they know that excellent service behavior is expected and rewarded in organization. So they would like to engage in this excellent service behavior, and their behavior will make customers satisfied. The second relationship in linkage research is between job satisfaction and customer satisfaction. Job satisfaction corresponds to what John wants to do by improving their general happiness, their morale in the workforce. And the logic here is that when employees are happy about their work, about their job, when they interact with the customers, their happiness is actually reflected in the customers, and the customers are happy. So these two relationships has received a lot of empirical examination. Past research has found that. Service climate has both short-term and long-term impact on customer satisfaction, and customer satisfaction actually has an impact on service climate as well. So they also find that job satisfaction has both long-term and short-term impact on customer satisfaction, and the other direction of the impact has been found as well. However, not all of these effects can be replicated all the time. And also because service climate and job satisfaction are both the perception of employees, so they are highly correlated. So instead of studying them separately, we should include them in one model to study them together. And also we include both short-term and long-term effect, and that's the purpose of this study. We want to include these two relationships together, and we want to study both short-term and long-term effect. So our data allows us to examine this complex model across a six-year period. So we have our variables to measure repetitively across time at time one, time two, and time three. There is a two years lag between time one and time two, and there is a three years lag between time two and time three. So according to my Argument before between service climate and customer satisfaction, we propose that there is a short-term impact from service climate on customer satisfaction, and we also expect this effect should be long-term as well. And also for job satisfaction, we expect that there would be both short-term and long-term impact on customer satisfaction. 
And past research has always said that customer service is very important because they will come back and also they will bring back their friends. So the sales is going to improve and the benefits are going to improve as well. So those benefits of the organization or the stores will bring back to the, to, the, to the organization more ability to create a better service climate and make their employees happy. So finally, we propose that customer satisfaction is going to have impact on both service climate and job satisfaction. We, although this is not our focus here, but to maintain the rigorous, rigorousness of our examination, we also control for the stability of the variables, and also we correlate job satisfaction and service climate at time one. We examined this model with 341 specialty retail stores in the United States. For service climate and job satisfaction, they are collected from the employees, and it's measured, and it is measured with the employee opinion survey. Customer satisfaction comes from the customers, and it is collected with a telephone interview. And here are the results. First, we find that service climate has short-term impact on customer satisfaction. And this effect is actually very large. So our first hypothesis is supported. And then, contrary to our expectation, we cannot find a long-term impact from service climate on customer satisfaction. So our second hypothesis is not supported. And also, we cannot find a short-term impact from job satisfaction on customer satisfaction. However, we find a long-term impact from job satisfaction on customer satisfaction. So here, we know that for service climate, it actually, the effect is immediate and very powerful and, uh, on customer satisfaction. But for job satisfaction, when the employees are happy about their job, it is just a general morale, and it takes some time for them to have an impact on their service behavior and on customers. So that's why we only find a long-term impact. And finally, we found that customers, when customers are happy, it has an impact on both employees' perception of service climate and their job satisfaction. So our hypothesis five and six are supported. So going back to the little story I told at the beginning, so for Nancy's strategy by creating a service climate and John's strategy by improving employees' general job satisfaction, both of them are going to work, but it's a matter of time. For John, it may take him a longer time to see the effect on customers. And after both of them have been unhappy customers, Actually, it's better for them to create a better service climate and job satisfaction. And I would like to conclude my presentation with three quotes that nicely summarize what we found. Here, first, referring to the importance of service climate, you will never have a product or, or, or price advantage again. They can be easily duplicated. But a strong service customer culture cannot be copied. And for the importance of job satisfaction, whether you are big or small, you cannot give good customer service if your employee don't feel good about coming to work. And finally, for the importance of customer satisfaction, the customer experience is the next competitive battleground. Thank you. <laughs>